Hey kids, Jess here with Key Tarot. I'm just going to do a real quick general reading, not zodiac sign specific. Um, let's just say a quick blessing. We'll get rolling, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every single breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. Okie dokie. Let's use this Tarot of Wonderland to start. Why not? Okay. Seven of Wands. Yep. I saw the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck before we started here. And then we've got the Seven of Wands here. This is somebody who feels like things have been thrown off balance somehow in their lives. And now they're dealing with a lot of other people's drama. This can be a lot of people, um, a lot of other people's feelings, other people's emotions, or it can just be having to hold your ground in a situation, stand up for yourself. Now we've got the tower. No. Well, there's that. Um, it's a fairly combative energy, if I'm being quite honest. Um, the seven of wands is usually having to stand up for oneself or having to, um, keep up a fight or something like that. And with the tower card that comes out here, crossing that, that's an energy of, um, it can feel kind of catastrophic or um, chaotic at the very least. Um, and it, it, typically the tower is a major event that happens that can just really change the course of, of your life in some way. I've got the eight of wands in the reverse. This can be receiving a lot of communication that you're not real happy to receive. Um, Mm. Well, that's kind of a silver lining though. Um, there's this nine of cups energy that comes out here and it's an energy of things going um, in your favor. That's an energy of um, wish fulfillment. It's an energy of getting what you wanted out of the situation. Hmm. And I have the Hermit out here on its side. That's the card of Virgo. The Hermit, whenever it comes out on its side, this can be someone who's becoming very prayerful about their situation. This can be someone who is asking for help or guidance from a mentor or from a higher power even. Um, this Hermit, whenever it comes out on its side with this tower on its side like this, it feels like this is something that could have been prevented or it could have um, maybe been dealt with sooner and now it feels like things have fallen apart in some way or, or it could be something that you would kind of expected to see happen. Usually the tower is very unexpected. It's usually something that seems like it comes out of nowhere. Um, but with this Hermit and this tower right next to each other like this, it just feels like someone is wishing that they had made different choices about some things. I have the Fool card, but here's what happens with this. And I think that you know this. I think you already know this. Whatever this is, whatever this fallout has been in your life that you're either currently going through or you just recently went through this, it feels like very much like um, in the now kind of energy. Um, this propels you towards this new cycle in your life. It's this Fool energy, which is a brand new beginning. And something goes right over here with this Nine of Cups, which is all about that wish fulfillment. I always say that the Nine of Cups is like the minor arcana of the star card but it's it's really more three-dimensional like your birthday wish um comes true or something like that um i think whatever this situation is that you're dealing with currently somehow there's some kind of happy ending here for you and you know i wouldn't say that if if it wasn't actually in the cards here um, let me get, let's use, yeah, let's use this Chicoli deck to clarify a little bit here. Um, I've got the three of swords in the reverse and I've got the 10 of swords on this side. Snap. Um, that can be the energy of divorce that, and we've got the star card right there too. And I got the emperor up there. I've got the 10 of pentacles. Okay. Hold on. And then I've got the death card here. Um, we just, that's a little side note there. And is it that, um, <laughs> 
Okay, so the Three of Swords in the reverse, is it's the energy of a breakup or an ending that is painful, it's difficult. Each one of those swords right there indicates like heartache, grief, and pain, right? I always call it the Ben and Jerry's card of the deck because eventually it comes for us all in some way, right? Uh, when we have the Three of Swords in the reverse, this is a, something you're already starting to heal from. If this is in fact the ending of a major relationship that's coming about for someone, or this is you walking away from a situation you've been in for a long time, doesn't necessarily have to pertain to your love life it feels like you've known it was coming for a while that's why we have that tower out there on the side that's why we have that hermit energy here and this ten of swords is the minor arcana of the death card right it can indicate um, an ending of a major relationship it can indicate the ending of a major cycle or time in your life um, with this seven of swords in the reverse this is somebody who is now starting to tell the truth about the situation that they've been going through um, this can be secrets coming out this could be, you've got two sevens right here next to each other too. Um, this can be someone's true motives coming out as well. Um, but with this six of wands that I squirreled away over here, um, this is somebody who's a little bit worried about how other people are going to um, either judge them or how they're going to respond to this news coming out. The six of swords, or excuse me, six of wands can be someone who feels like um, they failed at something. Uh, and they feel like um, other people aren't gonna be proud of this choice that they've made. Ooh. I've got the Emperor out here on its side, and I've got the Ten of Pentacles over here on its side. Um, the Emperor is the card of Divine Masculine. It's also the card of Aries, and it feels like whoever I'm reading for here, either you are this Emperor, or it feels like this, this energy is about this Emperor energy. Um, this is somebody who may have recently lost a lot of money because of this situation. This is somebody who may be... Um, feeling like they're going to lose a home because of this situation. You've got two tens here. Tens are cycles of completion. Yes, 100% true. And you've got this fool energy, which is somebody who's ready to start over again, ready to, to, to take the leap two feet first, right? And then we have this star card that goes right on top of the nine of cups that I already said is, is like the minor arcana of the star card. Um, it's, it's the card of Aquarius this star card, but it's, it's about understanding, um, life's blessings. And um, it, I always think of the star card as like opening Pandora's box. It, when you do, it unleashes all the good, all the bad, all the ugliness of your life. Right. And some of those things, uh, all of those things belong to us as, um, you know, part of what makes us who we are as individuals and as souls, I guess. And, you know, you can't be a whole person without experiencing all of those aspects of your life. And I think somebody here recognizes that the things that they've been through have created who they are. And chaos and conflict aside, this is somebody who is, is choosing to rebuild themselves. All righty. Um, let me just grab one more deck just because I feel like there's some good news coming for whoever this person is. I just, which deck do we want to use here, kids? Let's use, um, let's use this Deviant Moon Tarot. <laughs> this person is very worried about their finances right now. They're worried um, that this is gonna hurt more than they thought it was going to hurt them in the pocketbook area. I've got the devil in the reverse. Yay. Um, so the devil in the reverse, I feel like this person here is choosing to walk away from something that was just bad and it was bad for a long time. Um, it, this could have brought out the worst in them. This could have brought out the worst in others around them. The devil is the card of Capricorn, but whenever we have the devil in the reverse, it feels like someone who's very aware of the toxic toxicity in this scenario or situation and now they're coming clean about it or now they're just removing themselves entirely from that energy and that's not always easy it's not always easy um why do we still have this person with this seven of wands here judgment in the reverse i kept seeing the judgment energy whenever i was um shuffling over here in initially um 
which is kind of like a wake up call typically, but when we have the judgment in the reverse, this can, I feel like this person may be feeling like other people around them are misjudging their actions, or this person could be judging themselves pretty harshly for what they are doing here. Um, some There could be some guilt about leaving this situation behind in some way. Wow, okay, you've got the Ace of Cups and the world that come out next to each other. Um, so the world is the card of Libra, but it is the final card in the major arcana of a deck of Tarot, right? Um, judgment is right before the very end and the world is the very end and you have to get all the way to the end before we wrap back around with that fool energy, okay? So you have the ending here so that you can have the beginning. And what's interesting is it came out with this Ace of Cups, which is a, can be a brand new love relationship coming towards this person. I knew there was gonna be some good news in here. Um, but more than that, uh, much more importantly than that, the Ace of Cups is not always just about a new love relationship coming towards you. It can be about remembering who you are, remembering what love feels like to you, remembering how to vibrate at that loving frequency that allows people to um, vibrate at that same frequency back towards you. That's how we magnetize ourselves to love. And this person, whoever you are, whoever they are, it feels like all of a sudden they um, have like some warm, tender feelings for themselves, which is really nice. Um, it feels really nice. It's like um, there's like peace and contentment for this person and it's like a softening of um, their heart. It's very good. All right, anything else you want to say about this? Oh, okay, the Ten of Swords again. This is something that you're kind of right in the middle of, it feels like. That Ten of Swords goes right on top of that Emperor here. Um, the second time out for that one. <sighs> this has been ongoing. Like these, um, this toxicity has been going on possibly for years. Um, but this ending is fairly fresh, although it feels like whoever I'm talking to, this person had disconnected some time ago already, but now we've got some fresh wounding. This, um, the Ten of Swords can be kind of like pulling the Band-Aid off slowly as that tower that comes out, if it comes out in the reverse or on its side also, it's like um, something was prolonged here. It's like somebody stayed a little longer than they should in a bad situation and it tore them apart and it tore apart every everybody else around them. But for whatever reason, they felt obligated to stay in it. And even now, as they're extracting themselves from this, there's a heavy um, feeling of guilt surrounding this. And this emperor energy, you know, the emperor is responsible, not just for themselves, but for an entire empire. This person may have had a lot of responsibilities. They, ha they may have had a lot of people they were responsible for. They, they may have felt um, like it was necessary for them to stay for whatever reason. But with the Eight of Cups in the reverse, this is someone who says, I don't care, I have to go. Like, I cannot stay another minute longer in this. This person recognizes how much of themselves they've lost in this situation. And now they just simply can't any longer. Okay. <laughs> I have the Page of Cups and I'm gonna leave it on that because the Page of Cups is a message. It's a message of love, kindness, forgiveness, apology, friendship, um, admiration, flirtation, whatever you wanna say. Um, it feels like this person will be reaching out with a message either to this emperor or this emperor will be reaching out to someone else. There's a real heavy energy of, um, or I should say like a much softer energy of this person being ready to open their heart again to just the idea of love in general 
or loving feelings in general. And uh, this Page of Cups is somebody who's ready to extend that energy to other people. So nicely done. Whoever you are, um, if this is your reading, if you're this emperor or if this emperor, if you know who this emperor is in your life, um, it feels like they've been through a lot. If you bump into them, <laughs> at the market make sure you give them a big hug and a pat on the back and say hang in there um but this person is ready to start talking to people again they may not have been for a while it feels like they weren't telling other people about the things they were going through um, because they were afraid of being misjudged or um, just having to admit some of the things that either they had done or that have been done to them there's an energy of guilt and there's also an energy of vulnerability here all right that was your reading for today kids much luck to you i love you all very much um yeah i'll catch up with you soon uh, how do we do this yep